Hey guys, uh, it's been just over a month since my last update video. Um, quite, a lit, quite a bit has happened. Um, so started with a new teacher um, in person. Found out that a lot of my technique and posture up until this point has been very bad. Uh, so she actually had me start Suzuki over, um, which I'm okay with. Um, I can still practice and stuff. Um, to kind of go ahead with some of my other things, but it's killing a lot of my bad habits. So uh, that's a good thing. Um, my bow hold, for example, has already changed uh, quite a bit. Um, so definitely it's, uh, my bow hold is already relaxed a bunch since um, I used to, um, as well as kind of freeing things up. I still have an issue with using my shoulder, especially for uh, smaller, trying to release some of my elbow for some of the small um, uh, bow strokes. Uh, so um, today is gonna be more of just an update uh, on the, uh, I'll just basically up it till maybe the sixth song, go tell Aunt Rody. Um, another thing is, is I did start a community orchestra. Um, I've only had one practice so far. It was just a couple days ago. So uh, a bit overwhelming, but really, really excited to get into it some more. Um, I will be practicing that music on the side of my normal um, Suzuki songs. However, I will not probably put in it here uh, for a while because some of them are more advanced than I'm at. So, uh, I don't want to record it. <laughs> uh, uh, I still have to write down the fingerings on a lot of the songs and there is definitely some shifts that I need to figure out. I might have to sit down with one of the other cellists in the orchestra to figure out um, some of the extra shifts that are better to do. Um, a lot of I could figure out is just what's going to be in first position and then I know what's not in first position, just what position to go from for there that's uh, better than just like, let's say my habit is if I see something in fourth position, I'm going to go from my first position all the way down to my fourth instead of, you know, if I do something here and then I shift down to my fourth, I, I know there's shifting down to third position to play that note and then I'm already on my E here. Uh, so that was just an example. Uh, there's a lot of cases where I don't know, obviously the art of shifting yet. So um, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, yeah, just uh, basically uh, that's basically what's been going on. Um, uh, yeah, so uh, let's go on and get down to it. I'm just gonna play. So uh, one thing in Suzuki I, she, uh, I've been doing is the um, ringing notes. Yeah, the ringing notes uh, pra uh, kind of warm up before and after. Well, kind of before and in middle and in between. Um, one thing is, as you've noticed, well, I think you noticed last time, there is no tape on here, so um, I can hear when I'm at least close to pitch. The ringing notes have helped a lot for making sure I am. But every time my hand comes off of here, I have to go looking for my pitch again. So that is still not habit um, yet. So I need to fix, uh, I need to practice that just off and on, but I'm not gonna bore you guys on this video with that. Um, so, but I am gonna bore you guys with some uh, twinkle twinkle drills. <laughs> um, the main reason is it really helped. There's a lot of bow stuff that I'll explain at least where my knowledge was lacking before when I get to it. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and start with the, the uh, ringing notes. So, as you can tell from there, my hand shifted a few times until I found it. So, that's what I meant by when I, this, the moment this hand comes off. 
I lose it, so let's just... because Suzuki right now I'm on just my uh, D and A strings so that's why I'm spending a little bit more time there we go finding my ring tones of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Uh, it's just to kind of warm up my elbow and my, I'm just going to do one through one through of each um, on the Suzuki book. <laughs> Thank you. 
very insecure right now in my cello. I want to grab it with my legs. <laughs> in between them too. I don't know if that's lack of rosin or it probably has to do a lot with my bow pressure that I haven't figured out yet. So uh, yeah, that was obviously Twinkle Twinkle. I find those songs kind of boring. Definitely more fun when I play it with my teacher because she does the duet with it and so at least it sounds better than just plain old Twinkle Twinkle. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to skip the melody of Twinkle Twinkle. Those are my warm up ones. Um, so we are going to go forward with French folk song. Um, also, no, I, she's having me memorize these songs now. One thing I wasn't doing before, even though a lot of these songs were easier and most of the time I could play them without thinking about, I wasn't actively trying to memorize it. So, um, so go tell her, uh, um, in that French folk song, um, right before my, um, my half notes, I had to think about the name of the notes, um, I go from half bow for my normal, uh, quarter notes to a quick vocal for my, that, the, the half note or the quarter note right before the half note. So that extend, so I got the whole bow for that half note. Uh, again, these are things that my teacher was teach uh, has been teaching me as far as the bow management goes. Um, she tells me how she puts tapes on for her younger students and how I refuse to put tapes on my bow. <laughs> uh, Cause I'm stubborn like that. Uh, uh, I'd rather just, you know, trial by error, mess it up. Even if it takes me longer, I'm not. I'm not going anywhere in a hurry, so uh, this is a fun process for me. So anyways, um, you'll see what I'm talking about here in a second, so I was just kind of explaining that. Um, I'll get more in details on uh, the next couple songs, because that's where the bowing changes even more. So let me find D really quick. didn't pick up my string so um, that's what I was meaning about there uh, a lot of my bowing um, has been changing uh, so I've been focusing a lot more on technique lately than just being able to play the notes uh, which was what I was doing before uh, okay so uh, let's go to lightly row is that what it's called rightly row I'm trying to read her handwriting. I'm just going to open up the page because not that I need it. I want to explain my bowing here. That sounded like it ripped, it didn't. <laughs> All right, lightly row. 
Okay, so it starts off, uh, basically the entire thing is uh, quarter notes and half notes. On my quarter notes, my first ones start off with a close to the frog, halfway, for halfway. Then on my quarter um, half note, long bow or whole bow, and then leave it there obviously for my next two, it's gonna be tip to half, tip to half, whole bow. So there's a lot of this half whole, half whole. So there's a lot of this that I was never thinking about before. Where my bow is on the string between, I mean, I'm trying, I'm showing it here without making too many screechy noises, but basically constantly shifting between the frog half of the bow and the tip of the half of the bow, um, um, for this song anyways. Um, Go Tell at Ready, for example, that's when it starts changing up even more so, but um, actually, you know what, I don't think I actually did any changes here. Just go, go watch a show or something, honey. Go watch a show. So, um, uh, there's a blanket out there. <laughs> Daughter, uh, I'll let her stay up late tonight because it is a Saturday night. So her brother's asleep and I told her as long as she lets me record. <laughs> as you can see, she just all she needs is something. Uh, anyways, I ramble, I'm rambling on. So let's go to Lightly Row and I'll just kind of show what I was saying here. So um, I need to find my G now. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> All right. Focus just went out the door when my daughter came in, so let's do this again. to my bow <laughs> this is where things get tricky this is where my majority of my practice is now it I'm paying so much attention now to the bow even my fingering I, I forget where I am on my song so this is why she was encouraging me to remember these songs so that I can get this down by heart so that I can focus on the technique as we can see that's not as good as I want it to be so there we go. All right, so let's try that again. I could hear it. I'm hoping a lot of you could hear it. Um, 
my intonation was slightly changing. I was a, I I don't know if it's a bad habit or not to try to fix my intonation in the middle of the note. So um, when I was off, I was slightly adjusting in the middle of my note. So um, tips on that, if that's a good or bad thing, I don't know. Uh, I once I hit a note and I tell I'm off intonation, my instinct is to try to find it before I complete that note. <laughs> Um, especially if the note is following, <laughs> which is on a lot of these. So um, I'm not going to torture you guys more with that. So let's do a song in the wind. Um, I did that one legato, uh, lightly row. Uh, I'm going to do song of the wind is going to be more uh, mar uh, marcato. So um, biggest thing is my shift here. <laughs> Now, lifting of the bow. So she taught me watermelon. So I've got three different lifts here. Um, a watermelon, a grape, or a grape, and an orange. <laughs> um, if I put the music up, I probably won't, not this time around. Um, uh, well, you'll see my attempts at doing the lifts, but I uh, lifted my bow up, so they're pretty bad. in an orchestra, if I take my hand off my string, <laughs> I can't sit there and listen to my, to see if I'm on, if I'm on or not, I, even if I do pica, uh, uh, pizzicato, pizzicato, pizza, pizzicato, um, it, it, even if I pluck it, because there's so much noise around me from the other instruments, I can't hear if I'm on or off tones, <laughs> intonation, so that's a big challenge on itself, so that's fun. <laughs> uh, anyways, let's go ahead. <laughs> So, uh, I 
my teacher had, had she obviously teaches a lot of kids, so uh, it's a zero, uh, step, and step four, and then back. Step four, and then step three, and then step one, and then one, skip, jump. So the point of that, why she was teaching me that, is step four, and then step. So put an accent on the step um, notes. So kind of right before I jump down to my next note. And even though it says step, it's basically uh, when I say step, it's actually right before the step. That was the most confusing thing for me when I was doing this. So. Just counting. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Um, but I think the point of hers is, is on the steps. It's a put the so I can remember to put more accent into it. Or so. So um, that's the point of that exercise. Go tell Aunt Rody. Here's the fun one for me. Uh, so it's for. Okay, so. So it's hold on. So this is where I'm really focusing on the different portions of it. And so I'm just going to go ahead and go, but this is where, again, this is the technique that I wasn't paying attention to before. So while I was able to play these songs before, um, not so much with the proper technique. Also playing this legato so uh, smoother instead of marcato like before. <laughs> note was again this is where my memorization needs some practice so so forte and then piano on a part. I didn't even pay attention to that. So let's try to do it this time. I don't have that part memorized, so let me... Uh, okay, let me see if I can do this. I have a hard time playing a difference in loudness anyways <laughs> on the string, so let's see. Let's start playing on intonation.
I am currently working on Oh Come Little Children. This one freaking gets me with the bow. Because now, this is where she's got me stopping, starting on mid. Oh. Hold bow. Tip, tip, hold. Frog, frog, hold. Tip, tip, slow bow. Stop mid. Oh, so. fingers on there is when it changes up for me but so um i already kind of showing you guys my practice on that uh, let's go ahead and just try it right now. But I will be reading the notes. Okay. What are we at? We're, oh, we're late, guys. Uh, 32 minutes. That's, yeah. I'm not even going to bore you guys because I'm going to butcher this one. Uh, so, yeah, that's the uh, checkup for this month, uh, our check in progress. I guess this is more of a blog too, or vlog. So I uh, hope you guys like what you saw. Uh, technique, mainly this one, so boring songs, but it's been to focus on technique, so I'm still loving it. I'll see you guys later.